the I unlimited one. So Lord, I pray this moment as I stand up to share your word that Lord, the power of the Holy Spirit will take over. Lord, I give myself to you so that Lord, you can use me for your own glory and for your own honor. We come this morning against every witch. We come, Lord, against every uh, thing that we want to interfere with the broadcast of this service. So we pray for clarity. We pray, God, that as we stream across the length and breadth of the island of uh, Jamaica, as we go across the airwaves, Lord, across the world, I pray, God, that your word will reach someone. I pray, God, that as your word takes effect, that someone, Lord, will respond accordingly. Bless your word to our hearts and let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. And God's people say, Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, last week we started and had all intention this morning to bring this word to its conclusion. We started to observe the topic last week in a question form. What type of steward are you? Last week, my brothers and sisters, we spent a lot of time to try to define who is a steward. We also look at the principle of ownership as it relates to stewardship. We declare that a steward is not a owner. A steward is a servant, and therefore he or she is unthrown to his or her master. As stewards of God, we declare that we must understand what the principle of ownership entails. Oh, the psalmist made the principle of ownership very clear. And he declared in Psalm 24 that earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof the world and they that dwell therein. We also, my brothers and sisters, look at stewards uh, as it relates to responsibility. So we declare that a steward is a responsible person. Paul, in explaining responsibility, he declared that although God gives us all things richly to enjoy, nothing is ours. And I want us to know carefully that he declared that nothing is ours. Nothing really belongs to us. God, my friends, owns everything. We are therefore responsible for all we treat what God owns and what we do with that which God owns. What we complain about our rights here on earth, the Bible constantly asks, what about your responsibility? My brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are, I would love to submit that owners have rights, stewards have responsibility. The third principle of stewardship that I want us to turn our attention to this morning is that of faithfulness. It is important for us to note that there is good and there is bad stewards. A good steward is one who waits and is ready, one who serves faithfully during the master's absence. On the other side of the coin, the unfaithful or bad steward, my friend, says to himself, My master is taking a long time in returning. His response will reflect his attitude towards his master's possession. Oh, my brothers and sisters, the bad steward will be the servant and the maid servant. The bad steward, my friends, he will eat 
and strength and get strong a uh, good and faithful store is committed to selfless service no? oh there is no desire for power or oh, the good steward my friend has no need to be in charge all he desired is to do the work of his master the good steward my friend so that you will think about the reward. It is important, therefore, for us to know that faithfulness must be viewed as an habit rather than an act. Am I talking to somebody here? You see, my friend, habit is an acquired behavioral pattern that is followed regularly until it has become almost in voluntary. I don't know if you get me yet somebody, but if you don't permit me, oh, the privilege of repeating that which I've just said. You see, faithfulness is must be viewed as an act. It is something that we practice. It is something, my friend, that becomes a part of us. It's not a, a one-time act. It is not something that you are pushed to do. It is something that you gravitate toward. Oh, faithfulness is that which you look forward to. It is a habit that is said. Habit, my friend, is an acquired behavioral pattern. It is something that you practice so much that it becomes a part of you. Not to do it, my friend.